So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the graph that's provided here. Right? So I'll just say graph as well as a subtype of strategy. So anytime I have a diagram or a graph or really any visual input on a question, what I like to do is just make sure I understand visually what's going on before I begin to read things just in case there's something that makes it um, more confusing for me. So with graphs specifically, I start off with, well, what's the title? So we here see that it says distance and dis density of planetoids in the inner solar system. We see that our X axis is the distance. We see that our Y axis is the density. And we have these points, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that obviously are going down from left to right, right? So those density values are going down as the distance from the sun goes up. And, um, you know, obviously these points are not all on exactly on the line. So um, there might be some discrepancies here that we need to pay attention to depending upon the wording of the question. So the information provided says the scatter plot above shows the densities of seven planetoids, which we already counted, in grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, so that's our density, grams per cubic centimeter. Um, with respect to their average distances from the sun in astronomical units. So that's this AU here is astronomical units. We already knew that was distance from the sun. The line of best fit is also shown. So again, pretty much everything we already identified. So question seven says, according to the scatter plot, which of the following statements is true about the relationship between a planetoid's average distance from the sun and its density. Well, we kind of already paid attention to the fact, and I'll just erase all these extra notes, that as the distance increases, right, 0 to 0 0.4 to 0 0.8, all the way up to 3.2, we see that the density is going down, right? So a planetoid that is 2.8 AUs away from the sun has a lower density than a planetoid that is um, 0 0.4 um, AUs from the sun. So let's see which answer choice represents that. So choice A says planetoids that are more distant from the sun tend to have lesser densities. That's exactly what we see in the graph. So I am confident that choice A is the correct answer. Choice B says planetoids that are more distant from the sun tend to have greater densities. That's the exact opposite of what we, what we saw. Choice C says the density of a planetoid that is twice as far from the sun as another planetoid is half the density. Um, I mean, we can tell even by the graph, I mean, half density would have to be like six versus three. There, there's not, there's no difference between planetoids that it's, that's that great on this graph. All the, dis, all the differences in densities between these planetoids are less than half for sure. So C is gone. And then choice D says the distance from a planetoid to the sun is unrelated to its density. Well, that's also not true because we already saw that there's a trend and it is in fact that the density goes down the further away from the sun the planetoid is. So the correct answer here is choice A.